Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Medicos Insight. Today I am going to teach you about a new topic that is about anatomical snuff box. As you seen, as you seen, this is this is palmar aspect and this is dorsal aspect and this is this area is known as anatomical snuff box. It is formed by two tendon. Actually, it is formed by three tendon. That uh, two tendon is combined coexist. Co with each other and here it is another tendon all are connected to thumb that is the first metacarpophalangeal joint here we, we can we can clearly write about this tendon that is here it is, it is a mnemonics that the brevis in between two follicles okay this tendon this tendon there is a as, as i mentioned there is two tendon that is one is known as one is known as extensor pollicis brevis and another one is abductor pollicis brevis longus abductor pollicis longus here as you seen the, the abductor pollicis longus as it abduct the thumb pollicis means thumbs as it abduct the thumb here it is adduct the thumb abduct the ab as it is abduct the thumb so it is called abductor pollicis longus as all are present in extensor surface that is an, another tendon is known as extensor pollicis brevis and this tendon is known as this tendon is known as extensor pollicis longus which is which is formed basically the basically the medial border or the posterior border of anatomical snuff box that here these are formed lateral or anterior border and another one is extensor pollicis longus that is formed medial or posterior border Okay, here then we can clearly see about it is formed by a, a layer of roof and floor and the floor is formed by the floor is formed by basically a carpal bones by a carpal bones that is scaphoid and tra trapezium that is as you, as you clearly know about there is eight carpal bones that is proximal row and this is distal row proximal row contains scaphoid lunate triquetal and pisiform and the distal row contains trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamet. As, and, and here we, we can mention that the floor is formed by floor is formed by scaphoid. Then we, we, we see that there is beneath the skin there is a superficial fascia and beneath the superficial fascia there is deep fascia. So, so the roof is formed by skin and superficial fascia. And beneath the superficial fascia, there is deep fascia. Okay, then we, we can we can see that the roof is already mentioned and the floor is already mentioned. And now we can see that what is the structure that forms the roof? That we, we see this is this is this is a vein. This is a vein that is that is known as cephalic vein, which extends upward and uh, uh, by upward extension it it is it joins to the it joins to the vesselic vein okay and uh, here i mentioned that uh, there is form it is the roof is again formed by cephalic vein cephalic vein and superficial branch of branch of radial nerve As I see, this is this is the lateral aspect and this is the medial aspect. Here, this is facet of radial nerve that is superficial branch of radial nerve. Okay, then now I can clearly mention about the content of anatomical snuff box. That is. The main content of anatomical snuff box is radial artery. We can palpate the radial artery by pressing it by three fingers against the scaphoid one. This is scaphoid one, and we can clearly palpate the pulse about the of the radial artery. Okay. 
एडियल आर्टेरी now here it is the mainly applied anatomy for okay that uh, we can as i mentioned clearly about the radial artery we can palpate the pulse and uh, second one is cephalic vein the cephalic vein is used for intravenous infusion for iv during the cannulation processes okay and then we can that's it that is all about anatomical snuff box as i quickly we can quickly summarize the anatomical snuff box this is the anterior border or lateral border which is formed by abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis this is the medial border or posterior border of anatomical snuff box that is formed by extensor pollicis longus okay the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis is connected to the phalanges as the extensor pollicis longus is also connected to the head of the first metacarpal okay the floor is formed by the scaphoid bone and the trapezium bone the uh, roof is formed by skin superficial fascia there is cephalic vein and by end the passage of superficial branch of radial nerve okay the content of anatomical snuff box is radial artery we can palpate radial artery by pressing it against the scaphoid bone okay the cephalic vein is used for iv cannulation that is all about anatomical snuff box and we will clearly mention about this in above points okay thank you guys